Good morning, yellow fellows. It's Baldy Chris, uh, and that's right. I said morning. Um, so this is now day six for the magic bag challenge, and um, it, I've got one that's unusually early. Um, they do usually have a late pickup window. Um, so just having my first brew of the day, my my Iron Maiden wicker mug man, wicker man mug even. Um, let's just have a quick swig of that. Yeah, all oh, very well, nice, that's hitting the spot. So, um, yeah, today, um, after having one cancelled yesterday, I was planning to get another Toby Carvery for this evening, but before I got to Toby and my favourites, I found Heron Foods, which I haven't used before. Now, I don't know why, but they've given me a B&M bag. Uh, it does say, please reuse me, um, so maybe they are <laughs> reusing B&M's bags uh, on their behalf. I don't know, maybe the companies are connected. I really don't know. I've not actually shopped at Heron before. Um, I think I've set foot in one once, but I have seen that they've done some pretty good bags for other people's videos. Um, and, and significantly bigger than this as well. So this one was a, a little over three quid. I think it was £3.29 and it's supposed to be £10 worth of food. That's uh, where are we today? We're on the 15th of January. Um, so straight away I'm not impressed um, because that is used by, and it's used by yesterday, um, so I don't really feel that they should be able to sell that. I, I may try and seek a refund on this one and go for uh, an extra one. Where it's still in date, um, then fine. Um, I'm sure I could definitely use that for lunch and or dinner. Um, and Had I bought it myself, I'd probably be happy to, to keep it. Uh, and use it the following day, I, I, as I'm fond of saying, it doesn't go to poison at midnight, but I don't know that these have necessarily been stored correctly. Um, so we've got um, another one here, um, it's some kind of chicken, it looks like chicken and bacon I guess, it's very hard to see with the, the placing of the stickers. Um, again, that's showing used by yesterday. Uh, I'm just going to get down low and look at this because you can see that the lid is bowed up on that. Um, there's a lot of pressure inside that one. That one's not. Um, if anything, I'd have thought the, the prawns were the ones that are least likely to be good. But uh, yeah, uh, this this isn't ideal um, so far. And we've got um, some strawberries now, which do look quite nice actually. Um, don't know if I can actually see a date on those. I'm struggling to. I mean, to be fair, they look all right. Um, strawberries generally don't last much longer than the, the stated shelf life for the, the product um, because uh, they tend to go very mushy and slushy um, quite quickly. So um, there we are. What is next in here? We've got some seafood sticks, um, Young's as well, an actual name brand. Um, again, these are used by the 14th. Um, can't see any indication of them, them bowing out there. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not impressed with all this stuff from the 14th. That's that's not really the way it's supposed to go, I don't think. Um, we've got what appears to be breadsticks and hummus here. Um, I can't see a date on them. It's almost certainly been covered up by the sticker. Um, I don't know, it's a little snack pot anyway. I'd love to be able to see a date on that because I have my suspicions with the other ones. Uh, and we've got uh, some blueberries. Trying to see a date on there. Not obvious from the front. And I don't think we've got one on the back. I mean, to be fair, they look all right anyway. Um, but like I say, with, with having three things that are used by yesterday, I, I don't think that's um, acceptable. And then we've got uh, another box of strawberries as well. Um, so I don't really know how much the fruits were supposed to cost here to begin with. I'll have a quick top up on the overall costings. Um, so we've got a bit over two quid, a bit over two quid, a bit over one quid. So we're looking at certainly five and a half, six and a half, uh, two punnets of strawberries and a blueberries. Yeah, that probably would just about take you to a tenner. I don't know what the prices are, so can't really argue with the um, the pricing that's there. And were these in date, um, then yeah, we've got we've got a lunch and a dinner sorted out as far as I'm concerned there, which would have been good. And these might even be freezeable. I'm not sure. Uh, 
No, the, the instructions there don't say they can be frozen. Um, just just refrigerate, so they'd have had to be used up, but they could have been chucked in along with the prawn salad to fill that out a little bit more. Uh, that would have been quite nice, I think, and would have made it definitely more of a dinner than a lunch item. But it's the fact that they are out of date that's, that's bothered me there. Um, like I say, especially with the, the one that's bowed out there. So I will probably ask for a refund on... Uh, on this bag um, from Too Good To Go themselves. Um, I've never had to do it yet. Um, I'll have to let you know how it goes. And I may even yet find myself trying to get a second bag to, to replace this one. So um, yeah, that was day six or possibly day five and a half. <laughs> I'll have to see how that pans out for the Magic Bag Challenge. Um, what mishaps did I have? There's a McDonald's next to the Heron Foods so I tried to sign into their free Wi-Fi so I could actually do the collection. I'm glad I did. They were very pernickety about it in Heron. Um, it took ages to get signed up for free Wi-Fi. You've got to give your mobile number to get a one-time passcode, then give your email address so they can send something there as well, although I was able to log in without clicking on an email link. Um, all, all a bit of a blather for, you know, generally not going to sit in McDonald's longer than about half an hour at a time, so I don't know why they're that fussed about it. Um, and then getting back into the car, somehow I smashed my knee on the dashboard getting into it, and it was my left knee, so every time I changed gear, um, that was a bit of a twinge there as well. It seems to be all right now, um, just a, a stupid knock. Um, but yeah, a couple of mishaps there. Anyway, um, that is it for what might be the first of today's uh, Week of Magic Bag videos. Um, as ever, like, share, subscribe, do those things, that would be very nice. And get in touch in the comments below and I'll endeavour to get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, take care of yourselves for now. Bye bye.